to ask this question ke we have this really complex question ek char point bata do important <laughs> and which is what you do very well I thought I'll just do a little warm up session because I'm little uh hyper I have not slept uh last night and and I'm on uh caffeine so I'm just like so I just started doing my own version of AMA and I realized that most people are not from cred uh it's always good to uh have people this is the second session we are doing with people outside cred coming for cred curious uh uh the first session we did was with Julie uh uh she used to be at Facebook uh and now building sundial uh she used to be head of design mm -hmm. uh along with chandra i don't know if you know him uh yep. uh who was head of data science uh shesh why don't we do one thing uh let's do a quick intro to your journey uh, cuz a lot of people only follow you on twitter and may not necessarily know about the journey we are not very curious people so many people have not gone to your linkedin and looked it up so why don't you give us a 2 minute intro Happy to do that. I have a question for you before that. Where were you last night? I was uh watching the World Cup. I see. Where were you watching the World Cup? In the stadium. <laughs> what was What was it like? I was just telling everybody over here. It's like this 90,000 people become one. And they have the same expressions and same chants and same body language and suddenly uh and there is suddenly everybody is just hugging each other and happy with each other and and they they get this feeling of i, I think there was oxytocin flowing uh through and and uh, uh seeing that at scale it was almost like going to a safari right like you see animals in large herds behave in a certain way uh but in a human form which is otherwise supposed to be like this only rational and uh like tweet properly type of people but n when you go there like everybody is just behaving um uh absolutely uh in a in their childish versions and getting excited so it was fascinating for me it was a good product experience uh so let's see uh, i was born in uh, mumbai india and uh, for the first 21 years of my life i was pretty much stayed within a 100 kilometer radius of where i was born so uh maybe once or twice i went outside of that allowed radius uh but uh pretty much just my experience in childhood growing up was all centered around the city i was born in and then the very first time i even got on a plane was to go to los angeles uh to do my graduate studies so at age 21 i went uh uh to university of california at irvine uh to do my phd and within one month of that of being in university to pursue my phd in computer science i realized this is not for me uh i just cannot deal with academia uh and so i decided uh within one month of joining university I was starting to find ways to leave university. Uh and ultimately I kind of graduated with a masters uh in 2001 which was not a good time uh, to uh to get out of school uh over in the US. Uh if people think that the recession right now seems bad like it's not at all like it, you have no idea what 2001 was like. Uh and so so I decided to graduate uh and i was looking for jobs i eventually found jobs as employee number 3 of our start so i don't even list it on my resume uh then i joined as employee number something of a startup and left that job in 6 months uh then i joined another startup as employee number 3 left that one in 7 months uh and uh, i was all doing software engineering so i did software engineering for about 5 years 5 6 years uh after which i transitioned to uh, product management and my first real product management job was at yahoo during its better days uh and then since then i have worked at various places
Google, Twitter, and most recently at Stripe. Um, and have been very lucky to work on uh, really fun products and uh, usually worked on kind of 0 to 1, 1 to 10, 1 to 20 types of products. Even when I was in larger organizations, I was always focused on uh, working on uh, new initiatives and making early initiatives highly successful. Uh, also worked on some mature products, but uh, really enjoy the early stage more. And uh, and then, yeah, last year I decided to uh, start a new chapter in my career, which is uh, instead of doing one of those operating product management roles, I decided that uh, I want to do uh, advising. Uh, and now I'm even doing teaching. Uh, and so I, I teach uh, you know one course. I'm going to launch a few other courses next year. Uh, but it's been really fun, uh, the last one and a half, almost uh, two years now. Uh, and then lastly, I think you know a lot of you may have uh, seen some of my writings uh, in, and I get questions sometimes about like, so how did you do that? Um, I want to share with you, and I'll stop there um, with the intro, that uh, that whole thing of me writing uh, on Twitter and other places, complete accident. Uh, I basically started doing it because of COVID. So when COVID happened, there was a shutdown, lockdown. I had two extra hours in the day, one, one two extra hours in the day, because uh, I did not have to commute anymore. So I said, OK, how should I use these hours? Um, and I decided, uh, oh, let me just start writing down things that you know I've learned over the years, things that I've used in my work for many years, things that I've mentored and coached other people on, on my team and broader kind of companies I worked at. Uh, and that's really how it started. So there was no kind of grand plan. Uh, there's no strategy. Uh, there's no kind of uh, goal of becoming a creator. I still don't think about myself like that. Uh, but uh, it's been really fun. It's been really fun to see uh, how it resonates with people, get a lot of kind of you know messages from people, how it's helped them. Uh, so really fun. But uh, I did want to share that it was a complete, complete accident. Uh, I'm assuming you have a lot of followers from India. Yes. You know why they love what you write? Tell me. In India, we love to ask this question. Ke, we have this really complex question. Ek char point bata do important. <laughs> and which is what you do very well. You <laughs> And I have noticed people don't really understand because you are writing your best to explain those four points, but it may not be limited to those four points, right? And in India, we love these extraordinary shortcuts and and versus going deeper into topics so let me ask you this at what point does that start getting old for a person <laughs> right this idea of like i posted and i got a bunch of likes and retweets and you know the world loves me and yeah there's some haters but the world loves me how does one reach uh, a point where you feel that immense power and influence, but then you also recognize how it is corrupting you inside. It's fascinating, right? Uh, if you meet a teenager, they are enjoying every day. They have party plans for the weekend set up, everything is set up. What they crave for is purpose in life. What am I doing with life? What is going to happen to my life? Like They have insecurity of that. People who have purpose in their life, they are like, what am I doing? I don't even go out. I don't even have a time to go and watch football. Like, what am I doing with my life? Uh, and the, the truth is you need to do both. In some proportions, based on what stage of life you are in. And therefore, you see the classic middle-age crisis kick in. It's like, what did I earn this money for? And then suddenly you see 40-year-old getting like super bikes or sports cars, which is not for their budgets. And I think people are constantly, so there is a, it doesn't end. The ratio of this keeps changing. Uh, and if you maintain them equally well, then you can continue for a very long period of time. But if you go swing too much, mm -hmm. then you will swing hard in another direction as well. I'll share one, um, one idea that worked for me as I was going through my own little journey of like, you know, posting 
on social media and getting a lot of validation, getting a lot of likes. And uh, I think this was like maybe in month three. So when COVID started, that's when I started tweeting. So that was whatever, March of uh, 20, what was it? What year was it? 2020? It doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Uh, but I think I, I distinctly remember around June of 2020, I was 